the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of boruto now before i get into it make sure y'all look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available you can find my discord come on in and join you know what i'm saying also on the weekends saturdays and sundays at 12 p.m pst on this channel right here i like to live stream and play games it's very fun it's very chill it's very laid back so come on in during the weekends and say hi in the chat i'll say hi back you know what i'm saying um so last episode of boruto uh, from what I remember, we got some three-man team action. Uh, Boruto uh, worked with Mitsuki uh, and Metal. Unfortunately, Metal, I think Metal is probably uh, just as strong as them. Um, but, obviously, he has a, a stage fright problem. So, yeah, very unreliable. Hopefully, we see him get over that sooner than later. Because, I mean, that is a weird... That's just a weird character flaw to have. I get it, though. Just to balance things out. Um... But I, I do hope he gets over that fairly fast. So I can just see him be a badass. Like his father, Rock Lee. And his mother, Ten Ten? Question mark? I don't know. They haven't showed her yet. They haven't showed him yet, even. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, some three-man action. Uh, obviously, it's pretty cool. I love how Ino she could show. I love how they're obviously keeping the, 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 the generations together. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I think about three-man teams in the future, when they become Genins, because they definitely will. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, so it's going to be Boruto. It's definitely going to be Sarada. Because I feel like that Konoha has, you know, they purposely keep some generations of kids with the other generation like they're adults. Like, Inoshi, Inoshi Kacho will always be a triple. They'll always be a, tr uh, a, a freaking trio. It, it, it'll always happen in, in in all generations. So I'm, tr so I'm trying to wonder, Boruto, Sarada, who's the who's third one going to be? You know, since Sarada is, is the... It was Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. That was a three-man team, okay? Um, but Sakura and Sasuke had the daughter, Sa Sarada, right? So, who's the third one? <laughs> um, I mean, if I were to guess, it would probably be... It would probably be Mitsuki, just because, you know, um, Orochimaru was in the three-man team of Jiraiya and Tsunade, right? And um, so, yeah. It's probably going to be Mitsuki, but I mean, it could be Metal, it could be, you know, freaking Sumire, who, who knows. Also, Sumire is, uh, she did some fuck shit, of course. Uh, I am surprised they are not locking her up a little longer. You know, they kind of let her free very fast. <laughs> um, but then again, she was, uh, you know, she was under the influence of her father and Donzo. After all these years, Donzo is still wreaking havoc. But uh, yeah, she seems to be good. She joined back with the with the squads and everyone welcomed her back with open arms. E easy peasy, you know what I'm saying? So I think we gained a great ally in Sumire. No one knows that she's actually pretty strong except for Boruto and Mitsuki. She's actually pretty damn strong. She knows freaking water jutsus and she has a Nue, the freaking summon. So she's definitely one of the stronger ones in the class, confirmed, right? So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are. Also, at the end of the episode, uh, I believe Toneri, Toneri Ototsuki, he made another appearance. I saw him in the Naruto last movie, right? Uh, and there were two other people, um, that, you know, if they, if they resemble anyone in the show that we've seen so far, they both resemble Kaguya. Okay, I think one of them was, one of them looked like they were eating, like, the devil fruit that Kaguya did, and the other one did, like, a Kamui dimension-type move, right? So, um, I don't know who they are, but they look similar to Kaguya, so maybe they're related in a way, I don't know. But they definitely didn't seem, I didn't get good vibes off of them, so they could be the, the, the next, you know, enemy, the, the next big bad, or maybe even the next, the next allies, who knows, you know, I, I definitely don't want to judge a book by, by its cover, but those guys definitely had a dark aura about them right so anyway that's pretty much where we are so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it this is board to episode 18 16 and 17 are fillers not watching those so we are watching 18 all right let's go like and subscribe hey out late with the boys is that my boy rock lee sleeveless <laughs> Oh, is Naruto a lightweight? Bro, Kiba? Look at Choji looking freaking 40 years old. God damn. Who's Kiba's kid? I'm gonna have to be on the lookout.
Dude, the OST so far in Porto has been great. I love it. The violins and shit, that shit's good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that'll wake someone up fucking jumping on them. <laughs> Oh, wait, today's the day he officially, like, becomes Okage? The inauguration ceremony, of course. Oh, I thought it already happened. Nice! We get to see it. <laughs> oh, is this like, is this taking place before the first 15 episodes? I feel like it's yes. I feel like that's a yes. Yeah, it's a yes. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure I, I, keep, I have the correct timeline here. It's gonna rip. Oh no! Oh shit. Well, hey man, I fucking hated when I broke my toys. I threw a tantrum. No. <laughs> no way that's how she got her Byaku gone. Her fucking toy broke. No way, bro. Really? I thought the Sharingan was the only thing <laughs> that was boosted by emotions. Oh, she's doing the fucking finger too. Oh my god. What is this? When did she learn this? <gasps> <laughs> she had a chakra point. Oh, this can't be good. This can't be good. When you don't defend against Byakugan Gentle Fist, your chakra points are fucked. Okay. I can't believe that's how she got her Byakugan. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, he made it! How'd he make it? He got freaking gentle fisted by his own daughter. <laughs> well, I mean, he is Naruto, so. Kore? Oh, God. It's freaking Kono Hamaru. Damn, he's out. Can he not to not do some gentle fist to, you know, to reverse it? <laughs> They're making her seem like a, a horror story. Oh, you can see your chakra, bro. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so Himawari is dangerous, huh? Oh, that was a flashback. Nice. Well, that definitely excites the hell out of me. Because Hinata, she was never really a fighter fighter. She could fight, but she never like focused on it. So I'm hoping Himawari is more of that. Is more of a fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he loves him. Well, this is, uh, very wholesome. Also, I feel like the, none of these scenes would mean, mean anything to me if I didn't watch OG Naruto and Shippuden, right? Like, they would, it would just be like, whatever. But that was very nice. Very heartwarming. 
Oh. Yeah, you don't want to piss off Mama. Mama Byakugan. <laughs> That's where Himurai gets it from. She needs to get it from my mama. What do you think we're going? Ichiraku ramen. Ichiraku ramen. Yeah. I got this shirt for five dollars at Hot Topic. I don't know where I got it. I got it at a mall though. Cheap as fuck. <laughs> He's still using that. Free meals forever. Oh wait, where did the where'd her dad go? Don't tell me. Ah, oh, did he die? It's actually kind of sad. If that if that daddy ramen died. Also, the rest there they actually have a restaurant now. It's not just a booth. Good shit. ちゃんと書きなんだよな。ま、順調に友達も増えてるみてえで。良かったってばよ。お待ちどうさま。うーん。<laughs> Ramen eating contest? Alright. Damn, they're serious about this shit. Queen of Gluttony? <laughs> Who was that? Was it Anko? <laughs> you know, she gained a little pound or pound here or there too. Since freaking ship it in. There were a lot of scenes at Ichiraku Ramen Stand. A lot. A lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations. A lot of ramen bowls. A lot of moments. There were actually a lot. I'm glad they kept it around. What? Wait, what? Hinata? She can eat like that? That's awesome. <laughs> that's like a, that's a recent picture too. Holy shit. Oh, that's so adorable. Damn. <laughs> Hell yeah, well of fire, baby. There was that OG picture of uh, Team 7 and Kakashi as well. Nice. That was a good episode. That was a good episode. Um, I At first, I was like, damn, Nar this has been Naruto's dream to become Okage. And he wasn't even there for his inauguration. <laughs> that did seem kind of weird to me, but 
um, it did show that, hey, he's got kids, he's got a wife, he's a family man now. He's a family man, you know what I'm saying? And that should prioritize over anything else. Over anything else. I, 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 I respect how he says the whole village is his family, you know what I'm saying? But he should definitely put his family first. That's just how it is, that's how it should be, you know what I'm saying? Um, cool. Himawari, that's how Himawari unlocked the Byakugan? Really? Because her freaking plushie broke? Okay. I thought I didn't. I, I thought the Sharingan was the only eye prowess that was affected by, you know, emotions. <laughs> but I guess the Byakugan can be like that too. All right. Um, I'm and I'm gonna go ahead and say this. That's probably. I mean, they they they, they haven't confirmed it in the show, but that, it, Himawari is like what freaking four or five years old. Is that the earliest case of the Byakugan in the show in history? Because Neji was a genius, but he didn't lock that shit till later, right? Like, oh man. Himawari? I really... See, so here's the thing. Hinata, I know Hinata's a badass. I know she can fight. I know she's got double lion fangs or whatever you want to call it. I know she's got those moves. But if possible, I'd like for Himawari to be more into that shit, right? Because Hinata wasn't really a fighter fighter. We can count on her to defend and fight, yes, but she was never in the front lines. You know what I'm saying? I mean, her best moment was her best moment was uh, fighting against pain to uh, release Naruto of the of the um, the the rods, right? Whatever, right? So, and she, I mean, she fucking she she almost died there. Um, so I, I'd love for him Himawari to be even more of a fighter than her mom and to be even more badass. She already knows the Byakugan, and apparently she she was able to take out the seventh, the Lord Seventh in one hit. Obviously, he wasn't defending himself, but you know, still, that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, well, I that was a good episode. We got to see you know more of Naruto and Boruto interacting, and that should really that that's how we fix their relationship. They just need to hang out more, you know. Obviously, Boruto. You can tell he loves his dad, um, and Himawari absolutely. She's she, she's a freaking daddy's girl, but you know, as as dismissive and you know, talk to the hand as Boruto is, is being, you can truly tell he definitely loves his dad, and he wants to hang out with him. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's just tough because he is the seventh Hokage, but it seems like Naruto is actually making the effort to make more time for them, um, and it's good. That's good. All right. Solid episode. Obviously, can't wait to watch the next one. But that's going to be it for this reaction, y'all. Before I end the video, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below. You can find my Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. You can find my Discord. Come on in and join, you know what I'm saying? Also, on the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. PST on this channel right here. I like to live stream and play games. It's very fun. It's very chill. It's very laid back. So come on in during the weekend and say hi in the chat. All right. Other than that. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and I'll see y'all for the next episode of Boruto. Peace.